Yoza, what did you do, man? You changed the name of your channel. What the hell? Why would you? Why would you do that? Oh, I don't know. I I just kind of needed to change. I needed to change, and I kind of wanted to simplify my name by removing the simple from my name. And even though I have Jedi leanings, I'm a goody goody. Whenever I play video games, I'm always a goody goody. I don't know. I have a hard time being evil. However, I'm not convinced that the uh, Sith are necessarily 100% evil. I know, controversial, uh, controversial, uh, you know, uh, stance to take. But um, anyway, uh, Jedi go by the the title of Master, and I figure calling my, myself Master Samurai would be rather pretentious and, and uh, uh, there's too much assumptions going on there. So, um, yeah, Darth uh, Darth Samurai's Illuminated Blades is just something I figured I'd try on. It, it just kind of hit me uh, on my way home from work today. Um, and uh, it's something I need to do. Anyway, uh, moving on. I'm here to uh, review... Uh, what has turned out to be probably one of the most amazing hilts that I've laid my hands on. I am so completely, completely and utterly smitten with this. This is a, this is my Saber Forge Heretic. It's running a uh, Saber Core 2.5 board, which just has uh, crimson and viridium, and it has a blood orange LED. And I love this saber, and I'll tell you why. First thing is, I love this hexagonal um, pommel here. This thing is just awesome. And uh, th this soundboard is, I don't know why, but I really, I like this version of, um, I don't know if this is veteran tier, but it's called Sabercore 2.5. Hold on. Are you okay? Yeah, you're being ignored. This will take all of 15 minutes. Yes, it will. Yeah, you poor thing. Yep, Tarthinky makes an appearance. Aww, he's just feeling lonely. He's been waiting for me all day long. The first thing I do when I come home is I start filming, um, you know, a, one of my dumb uh, videos. Anyway, so, can you be patient? Yeah? Can you be patient? We'll find out. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. The pommel uh, and the soundboard. Uh, for some reason, I really like the Saber Core 2.5 better than the current um, veteran tier board. I don't know why. I'm weird. <clears throat> yeah, so very, very nice hexagonal uh, pommel. I've already said that three times. And uh, as you can tell, this is the weathered version, the V2 version. So yes, this this is just this is just awesome. I really like this design, and uh, so that's box number one ticked. Box number two is this wrap. Now I think this is the ray skin wrap because this sort of emulates the ray skin that you'd find on the the um, Suka of a katana and uh, an Ito wrap of ray skin. Which is actually usually, the ray skin's usually underneath the wrap. And uh, I really like this. This is very comfortable. It's actually kind of squishy. It kind of um, has a little bit of a gib to it, but it's on there. It's on there uh, very, very, very securely. Just awesome. It's just an awesome wrap. And uh, currently, um, I think perhaps back in the day they did not put backlit switches on here this may have been um an install done by uh, the person i bought this saber from but then again maybe not this may have been how they came but i really like this switch the switch works well now this has a uh, kind of like this homemade uh uh kill key in here right now which barely works i have to kind of really really kind of finagle it to, to get it to put this into deep sleep mode uh, I actually ordered uh, one of the metal kill keys in black from um, 
Saber Forge today along with a, a brand new 32 inch blade. I have a 32 inch um, Infanti V4 blade that's repurposed from one of my various and sundry other sabers. Um, and uh, I felt this saber because of the way I, I, lo I just love this saber so much that it, it needed the royal treatment. So I ordered a Kilkey and a blade. It's getting the, the proper treatment. So this little switch area is um, is really nice. And that leads into one of um, the third boxes ticked. I consider this a thin neck. I really, really like this thin neck area. As you can see the where it's located, you know, from the emitter and the switch section. This, this is just awesome. I know this isn't a traditional thin neck saber, but I really... I don't know. I just like this. This is an awesome choke point, but you don't really need to use it as a choke point. You can kind of choke up a little bit on the emitter. And, um, uh, I mean, it's just a, a well-rounded hilt that, uh, it's really kind of eye opening this design. I just, I just love it. Everything's smooth in here. There's nothing, um, uh, there's nothing coarse or sharp or jagged or anything. It's just comfort from one end to the other. So, uh, yeah, very nice. Oh, you get this little square section. I always like design elements like that. Sort of like, you know, access ports to uh, the various and sundry parts on the Sabre. And they only have it on one side. Like, you're, like you'd are like be actually accessing a crystal chamber rather than, you know, on both sides. So it's, it's kind of, it's asymmetrical. And I really, really like that. It's, it's kind of a design element that uh, just works perfectly for this uh, particular saber. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, lathing going on in the emitter, uh, leading to a nice little angled emitter here. I really, this is box number, where are we up to? Five, I think. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. Uh, this sort of is, an, it alludes to uh, a Graflex the little eye on the graphics. At least that's the way I see it. And I really like this design element. This is actually a little bit on the sharp side, but not enough where you can actually injure yourself. You really can't get in there while you're spinning this thing. You're just vaguely aware that there's a slightest degree of discomfort. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's offset by all of these just wonderful cutaways. And, oh, God, this thing's so nice. All right, so here you've got, this is actually the blade retention screw. And on the other side, as I found out, there's your LED retention screw. And this screw actually allows you to remove the uh, angled um, kind of, it's kind of a shroud, actually. It's a shroud that kind of inserts onto here. And I suppose if you were so inclined, you could actually probably rotate the shroud all the way around and have, have the... Uh, you know, the wide part at the top, but, uh, the heretic is traditionally supposed to have this at the bottom and there, that's the way I'm keeping it. But, um, I imagine you could also probably just remove this thing entirely. It's very smooth. That's not sharp. I really like how they did the weathering on this one. I'm not a big fan of the tree trunk style of weathering, but the edges really well done. This cutaway, how it terminates here and here. Excellent, just just very well designed. It's uh, anodized inside, just black, as are I think all of the uh, all of the you know, cutaway details are kind of anodized black. And then uh, you've got your emitter. Nothing beats an angled emitter, so that's. That's number six. That's uh, box number six ticked. There you go. So that's that's kind of the hilt in a nutshell. It's just a glorious piece of design work and uh, craftsmanship, and um, I'm I'm quite fond of it. In case you hadn't noticed. Now, um, this is my my first Saber Forge hilt with blood orange. And uh, I never really gave uh, Blood Orange two thoughts, but then again. Saber Core Viridian. Yeah. 
it's really awesome. It's such a beautiful color. Red's, you know, a little bit commonplace. I, I do have, <clears throat> I do have red. I have at least one Saber Forge hilt that has red for the LED, but this uh, blood orange is, to me, it's fairly unique and I rather enjoy it. So as I said, <clears throat> this Saber comes with two sound fonts, uh, currently with set to Viridium. So let's turn on Crimson. Oops. <laughs> Alright, we'll do Viridium. <clears throat> Here's the interesting thing about Viridium. It has blaster block until the end of days. However, there is no lockup. The the soundboard, from what I understand or at least from what my friend Ghost Shadow indicated, is the soundboard is designed where Viridium just has blaster block, but it does not have lockup. I find This soundboard is so much more responsive than any of my other veteran tier Saber Forge Sabers. Alright, now let's see if we can get to Crimson. If I can just avoid screwing it up for one minute. Saber Cool. Crimson. Saber cool. Crimson. So on the flip side of the coin, with Crimson, you don't get Blaster Block. What you get is... Lockup. But, no Blaster Block. So, it depends on which feature you want. That's the font that you select. Now, I'm told that this has some kind of lightning effect, but I'm not too sure what, how that works at all, to be perfectly honest. But what I do know is that... Let me see if I can get the... The, the board is satisfying. I mean, it's sensitive enough that even if you're not swinging around... You can just kind of thrust it and sort of simulates a stab. Or it simulates, you know, some kind of force effect. I think that's just sort of a, uh, you know, how the accelerometer works. It's not really designed to do that. But it just, it's sort of a, a happy little happenstance. <clears throat> I uh, prefer to set my, uh, you know, when, when it's possible, I to set my blade to a, a bit of a flicker. This is my preferred setting. Yeah, and that pretty much that pretty much does it for the soundboard. It's pretty simple. So this is how loud this thing is. Very gratifying. To be perfectly honest, I would sacrifice gunmetal just to put this soundboard on um, <laughs> all my uh, all my sabers that are currently equipped with the veteran soundboard. Again, maybe I'm strange, but well, I know I'm strange. 
you know I'm strange. I like I like odd things. I have odd tastes. Oh, I almost glossed over. Obviously, this is your recharge port. Uh, when I bought the Sabre, it did not come with the battery, so I threw a uh, Trust Fire battery in here. One of those uh, Trust Fire 18650 batteries. It's actually the one, one of the batteries that came with my uh, Genesis Custom Sabres he sent me to. Um, but I got a couple other batteries on the on order. Just I want to have extra batteries on hand. Those those batteries tend to, I find they tend to last a lot longer than uh, the batteries that usually come, you know, with um, either. Uh, Saber Forge or Ultra Sabers, um, you know, they're those lithium bat, lithium ion batteries don't, oh, they're they're not very good, but um, the Trust Fire is, and uh, obviously I can recharge. The port does indeed work. So um, yeah, that pretty much uh, that pretty much nails it. So I'll just give you one final look from uh, one end to the other. Can drink in, uh, drink in my Heretic here. I would love to get the Elite Class version. I can't remember what it's called though. I was watching Sidious's video where he compared the two, and yeah. I think in my future I'm probably going to be acquiring one of those as well. Again, I bought this one off of the uh, Facebook market Facebook Marketplace, and uh, it was kind of an impulse buy. There was a, a few sabers on there. There was actually someone had a weathered venom, uh, which I was considering buying. That one had the uh, the, the um, version of the saber core soundboard that just had the has the single font. Um, that one came with crimson, and I was eyeing this one as well. And uh, I do have a, I do have a venom. Uh, it's a warrior tier, you know, stun saber. But um, I don't know for some reason this one called out to me and said, "Buy me, buy me. You must buy me, or you will regret it for the rest of your life." And I bought it, and I'm very, very happy that I did. This is a wonderful saber. And this this is number one right here. I like this. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's my review of uh, my Saber Forge Weathered V2 um, Heretic, the uh, apprentice level saber with uh, blood orange LED and the uh, Saber Core 2.5 soundboard featuring crimson and viridium. Viridium is my uh, default, and uh, what can I say? I this is I'm about to do a uh, my favorite five sabers video. I have five sabers that are currently I absolutely adore, and um, I think tomorrow I will be recording that video just to show you um, what my jam is currently uh, for sabers, and. Uh, Surprise, surprise, surprise. This is actually on that list currently. Yeah, I love this thing. Wonderful piece of kit. Anyway, so uh, that pretty much wraps up this video. I'm just going to do one more thing. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a perspective shot. Because I forgot to do that. I like to do that. One needs multiple angles. The thing that's kind of... Kind of a bummer is this particular saber is no longer well it's currently sold out as are um quite a few sabers on saber forge's site unfortunately uh sign of the times uh, but that being said i'm actually of a mind um I, I i like this design so much i might actually get the v1 version and i might actually go completely completely batty and get myself either a champion or a hero tier yeah Yep, you heard it. You heard it right here. You heard it now. I know. Shocking. Totally shocking. I'm going to actually spend some money. Yeah. Well, if you got to be an addict, it might as well be for sabers. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you like uh, the new name of the channel. Um, comment away. Uh it's I'm gonna stick with the name for a while until I, I feel 
like another change. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, please subscribe and uh, like and or dislike. Now nah, I know you can't and, but you know, <laughs> uh, whatever, uh, whatever fits the uh, fits your need at this uh, at this juncture. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope everyone out there is staying healthy, safe, doing all the right things, ticking all the boxes of uh, of uh, you know what needs to be done to get this situation over and done with. And um, yeah, have yourself a good evening, and uh, I'll be at you uh, later with another video. I'm sure. Take care now. Bye bye.